Brendan, whatever happens in, in this final day, this has been an incredibly successful season for, for Leicester, hasn't it? A historical season. First time the club's ever won the FA Cup. You guaranteed European football of some ilk, whatever happens. Um, I wonder whether that takes the pressure off the players a little bit going into this final game. Or do you not see it like that? No, I think that this week has been really about perspective. And that's something that, uh, you know, I look back over the course of the season everything that we've had to deal with, the European campaign, the the injury list that we've had uh, to real key important players for us, how we've been able to adapt and change the team around to be competitive at, at the very top. And as we sit here, as you say, we uh, our concentration is winning the game uh, at the weekend against a, talent, you know, a talented Tottenham team. And if we arrive on 69 points at the end of the season and somehow don't make it to the Champions League, then it has been really, really misfortunate. Um, so our focus is on finish the season strong. As you said, players have had a, an outstanding season. Uh, staff, everyone had to work so hard in this pandemic. Um, games, you know, the scheduling of the games, obviously, very tough for us, but we've been managed. We, we've managed to be competitive, and, and in the last game of the season, we're fighting with uh, two of your biggest clubs to be uh, to be in the in the Champions League. So, so yeah, European football again next season, which is which is a target. Um, FA Cup for the first time in the history of the of the football club. And when I ask myself the question, have we improved? Then we most certainly have and uh, let's hope we can finish the season off with a win on at the weekend. Having said all of that, which is all absolutely correct, Leicester have been in the top four now for 242 days, more than any other club, um, and you dropped out just ahead of the, the, the final game. How galling would it be for you and the players? And I, and I wonder, because it's such a young squad, whether it might damage the confidence of that young squad if for a second consecutive season you had come so close and, and not quite make it at the end. No, listen. There's no doubt I would be disappointed. We, we we can't mask over that as as equal. You know, the high of of winning the FA Cup was was we were, you know, elated to to bring that trophy to to the football club. Of course, we we'd be really really disappointed if we didn't do it. But we've got no one to blame. You know, we 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 always take the responsibility ourselves. We uh, we fought and we will fight right to the very end. And, uh, and like I said, it's, uh, if it doesn't happen for us, then we'll all come back in the summer and we'll be even more motivated and, uh, and have an even greater incentive to push on. And that's what development is. You know, we're, we're trying to, we've designed something here to try and s sustain, you know, performance. And, uh, and like I said, if it doesn't quite happen this year, we'll, we'll be back in the summer. Uh, Mo even more motivated to to push on next season. How do you see it these these final few games? Chelsea have got a tricky trip to Villa. Liverpool at home against Palace. Uh, are Leicester third favourites though, irrespective of all of that? We can only control what we do. You know the, the Chelsea squads, Liverpool squads, very talented players, experienced players, but we can't control that, Rob. Uh, so I, I won't lose any sleep over uh, over the two teams. We can only control what we can. And uh, and that will be our focus for, for Sunday. Let's get three points. Let's finish off on 69 points. And let's see where it takes us. Will you have somebody monitoring what's happening in the, in the other games? Well, I think that's natural. I think, of course, last game of the season, we'll, we'll, we'll have an indication of what's happening elsewhere. Yeah, hi, Brendan. Afternoon. Um, hi. Something you said a moment ago, um, you know, have we improved? We most certainly have, you, you said. I just wonder in what is essentially a results business, how much you see that as success of both yourself as a coach and Leicester as a, as a squad, the fact that so many appear to have improved under your coaching? Well, I think that's ultimately what we were here to do, Jonathan. I've, I've been in coaching my, my commitment to, to football and my football life has always been about development um, and whether that's a young player or whether it's a senior player for me uh, there's always development can take place no matter the age so uh, we've been in here working two and a half years 
and from day one that was that has been the intention we wanted to design a, a program that would allow the performance of the team to be consistent to produce a team that is exciting to watch that has a, an attacking base philosophy uh, and that fights for their supporters so uh, so yeah that's that's what we do as a as a team it's how I've always managed with every team that we've gone into with my staff can we improve players and, and help develop players and uh, yeah we we see obviously signs of that but still a lot of development to take place here and just finally from me um, nothing's predictable of course and we can't assume anything on Sunday but do you believe Brendan there will be a twist somewhere over the 19 minutes yeah yeah I don't think it's over yet that's you know I've I have that optimism and that belief that you know if we can do our job then we can do no more than that and then it's uh, I said it'll be interesting to just see how it finishes up but what we wouldn't want is for the door to have opened for us and us not to be able to walk through it so for us let's get the three points let's focus on our performance play them well finish off the season and uh, with, with with a good victory and let's see where it takes us